Hello, I have another Ellen Villa for you from the Hair Power Collection. Look at all that reflection. Sorry about that. So there's the box. Da, da, da. Lovely. And then you get a picture of all the wigs. And this one is Click. Dark Sand Rooted. Let me see that. Looks like that says 12-20-23-8. So 12-20-23 blend and an 8 root, obviously. I've got my little letter from Ellen Villa. Thank you, Ellen. And this is... Oh, look at that. I managed to get... I did try this one on quickly before. And I... Oh, God! numbers. It's scary. <laughs> it hasn't rung yet while I've been on here. It's loud. It's nice and clear though. I do like that phone. It's very clear when you're on it. So I'm just poking some of this hair back in here. Actually, I'll get the little cat tail. You know, maybe I should do this fish out from the other side and pull it in. Anyway, I don't want to waste your time watching me do that. It is completely... Uh, machine made. There's no mono anything here. And I guess it's hard for you to see. So the open wefting and across the top there for, well actually the permatease area is probably between my fingers there just along the top strip as this part is also open. And it's got the mole skin at the front, extended nape and mole skin at the ear tabs. And this is it. So this is dark sand rooted. If you look on uh, the typical picture that I've seen anyway posted for this is uh, sand rooted and this is dark sand rooted. So this is slightly different than what you will see if you go online to check it out. <laughs> Boy. Right, let's fix my ear tabs. This has a bit of give and Snuggish, but it feels fine for an average cap size. Alright, so let's just... Uh, I, oh, it's so annoying sometimes the way the string pulls the hair in the wrong direction. Alright, I'm just going to do a spin like this before I play with it too much so you can see the different sides. This is my left side here. Because you just know I'm going to be putting this behind my ears, right? If you've seen any of my other videos, I can't help myself. What about a shag? And with the three tones in there, it's very multi-toned in the color. Looks bigger in my mirror than it does on the screen. So it's a little longer at the neck and shaggy. get some product in there and fluff it up maybe with the hairspray scrunching it a little and get the pieces get it to be a little more PC looking getting caught under my arm my favorite on me. Not the wig's fault, just not my favorite on me. I do think it's a cute style. It's um, kind of retro. Maybe that's why 
I'm not keen on it on me because I'm old enough that retro just looks like maybe I haven't gotten out of wearing the same hairstyle for too many years. I don't know. But I could just need a little change in direction. Like even that just updated it to me a little bit just by smoothing the bangs out a little. It is a shorter bang. <laughs> Give myself a little bit of a faux hawk thing there. That's, <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Alright, that's, um, I hope that gives you a bit of an idea of it anyway. It's I always love a rooted color. Just do that. Okay, so you don't have dark underneath. I mean, it's, if it's just a breeze blowing around. I don't think it's much to be concerned about, but again with any flippy wig in the back. It's fashion wig typically, right? So just uh, take that into consideration. If you've got darker roots, make sure you've got a dark cap underneath, or if your own hair is dark, then you're not likely to see that. So anyway, so that, what is this again? Click. And dark sand rooted. It is cute. I'm, I'm not wanting to add it to my personal collection, but if I was having to run out and this was the only wig I had handy that I could put on, I'd wear it. Alright, have a good one. Bye bye.